Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I'm here today to do a flip through of three out of 12 scrappy flip-flop journals that I have created over the last, I'm going to say four months. I'm going to, I think it's been longer than three. Each of these journals are different. I'm showing three today and these three, they're numbered one, two, and three. And they will be listed in my Etsy shop. And the link will be in the description box below. These were inspired by Leslie of 507 Willow House Journals. Leslie's flip-flop journals are different than mine. Flip-flop journals have been around for a long time, but it's Leslie that has recently put it the flip-flops in the forefront. So that's who I'm crediting. Hers look different than mine. So let's have a look at what I've created. Mine are scrappy journals made of five envelopes. I think five envelopes. One, two, three, four, five. I think so. Five envelopes. And they are massively thick. They are, you need a tie to close them. So when they are just sitting like this, they're approximately four inches. And if I really, really squeeze it, it's three inches. I have five signatures. There are approximately 175 sides to this. I don't think I've ever made such a fully embellished large book. I want to show you the... Oh, this is going to flop all over because it's a flip-flop journal. This is the tie. It is hand stitched. I've used Battenberg lace, different shades of aquas, teals, turquoise, and beautiful poppy red. I guess that's why it took so long. Everything is hand stitched. The odd day I was able to sit at my sewing machine to get some of the pieces machine stitched. I did. So all of the ties are similar. I'm going to do a more detailed flip through of the first one, but they're very similar. What difference is maybe how, how their pieces of the snippets are put together, which digitals I've used. So this, if you want to see how it's made, I have further down on my playlist not on a playlist, but they're down on my YouTube channel. I have creating the base, embellishing, uh, uh, sorry, and creating the first two signatures, I believe. So there's about three or four videos on how to create this. So let's have a look inside. I've used printables, Tim Holtz papers, and original book pages. Sometimes it's sheet music, there's sand pool designs here, crocheted, vintage crocheted bits, silk flowers, cheesecloths, different kinds of papers and fabrics. Corrugated cardboard twine to create the first envelope flap. Everywhere I've sewn in a signature, I have some red and white striped fabric. We have a flip. This is the first smaller envelope that I have folded not quite in half and I've made a scrappy tag. If these were sewn together with a glue stick and some heavier glue. So if the edges start come apart, coming apart, just glue it back together. This is a scrappy journal. So I'm going to take that out, show you how I made book page pockets, hand stitching. The whole base is machine stitched, so it's actually going to stay together. Machine stitched all the way around with a little bit of wiggle room for the flaps. Wanted to use book pages wherever possible to create pockets. And I have combined all sorts of papers. This is the tag, the larger tag, hand stitching, multi layers of fabrics and trims, old book pages and printables. So that's the first 
bigger tag. This is the smaller tag. Lots of hand stitching, lots of machine stitching. We have a fabric scrappy flip. I love the different fabrics, vintage and new fabrics. Battenbergs, all stitched together. Then we have one of Amity Bloom's envelope things that she sells on her site. I put it together just like she said. And there are pockets and tucks in here. And I have not put anything in here. It's so thick. So we have a, you can put, whoever purchases these can put something in this one side tuck. One pocket, two pockets, third pocket. You fold this out, that's the back side. And then there's another flip, a tuck, I should say. I have a fabric piece to open it with. I left it opened like this. I love how that looks and you can see on a good day I was machine stitching all the way around. So the the base of this first signature and all of the signet all of the base envelopes are all machine stitched. Wherever there's a hand stitched signature with the twine, I have a fabric piece that's glued in. This is an all a uh, very large pocket, coiled heavy paper strip on the first base. So that would be a second, fir first envelope base, the second envelope base, the third envelope base. And I've made two pockets. I knew I'd stitched that in. So I have two tags, scrappy tags, different book pages. They're all collaged, lots of little bits and pieces on here. The pockets are made out of old, very old, naturally caramelized book page. Tuck one tucked in there, one tucked in here. And this is the Second signature, there's a total of five. This is the second. And love my craft paper, torn, printables, hand stitching, collaged everywhere, piano roll paper, ends of book pages, lots of snippets with different fabrics and trims, hand stitching over the machine stitching. Many book pages we start off. I, I'll explain when, if you look at the previous videos, what each of the pages are made out of. Hand stitching, pockets from folded old ledger pages on either side book pages, printables, stitching, more printables, collaging, Tim Holtz abandoned house fabric, shorthand book, digitals, hand stitching, multi-layered paper, fabric, lace snippets, vintage, book pages, ledgers, printables, 200-year-old book page, paper, shelf liner, original sheet music, original book pages, pocket tucks. This little flip, we have beautiful paper streamers that were tea dyed, various crocheted bits to create snippets fabric, lace, hand stitching, combination of original book pages, printables, wrapped around the corners, wrapped around the edges, the top edges, the top bits for lots of interest, original book pages, 
craft paper that has been scrunched, hand stitched, paper, coffee dyed doilies, beautiful printables that have been collaged on the edge with printables, original book pages, craft packing tape, beautiful stitching, original hard anger, and the back sides. Lots of hand stitching. They take absolutely forever to create the hand stitching. And it takes me one full day to do the hand stitching on one journal. And another full day to do all the hand stitching on that tie, on this fabric tie. Lots and lots of stitching. Beautiful fabric and lace trimmed, collaged, back half of the pocket. All the pages are askew. You see bits and pieces of different pages peeking through from one to the next, hand stitching, hand stitching, collaged, tucks, tucks, hand stitching at the top, printables, printables, craft paper, love the different pages that are attached to it, hand stitching again, another one of the envelopes to create the base, inside is a tall scrappy tag, multi fabrics, laces and trims, hand stitching, printables, original book pages, original book pages, machine stitched, 200 year old book page, Tim Holtz paper. It's almost too big to get it. So that was the first signature. And this is the second signature. This is the envelope base. That's the envelope base. So on this envelope base, we have a pullout again with book page and printables, Tim Holtz papers, scrapbook papers, 200 year old book page, wherever there is a fabric, fabric seam, there is a signature stitched in. Similar papers, all four signature, larger four signatures have the craft paper that is torn with more book page printable on the interior spine, printables, labels, hand stitching. Vintage ledger papers, again, similar papers just from different books paste, placed in similar page places. Printables, scrappy snippets, hand stitching, more hand stitching, gorgeous lace papers by Junk with Steph, printables, hand stitching, multi layered book pages, printables, craft paper, old typewriter paper, Tim Holtz paper, printables, and more stitching. This was a, an envelope that was cut out, attached with an envelope printable that was attached, the front flap with craft paper, book pages, straddling a printable and beautiful hand stitching. Similar pages throughout the signatures, similar cloth spine attached to fragile papers, beautiful printables, multi-layered original pages with tucks, vintage ledger pages, beautiful tucks, scrappy bits with original papers and printables machine stitched with scrappy bits on top. Gorgeous original book pages, botanicals, printables and craft and printables. Every signature has a beautiful printable in the center with some hand stitching. And then the back of the original book pages, multi-layered craft paper, hand stitched on the edging, 
multi-layered scrappy bit snippet little tuck when I counted I can't remember if I said there are a total of five signatures and approximately 175 sides one side two side three side four sides and so on I don't think I've ever made such a large book and these are hand stitched once these 12 flip flop journals are finished they're sold I'm not making any more flip flop journals they are wonderful to have what once they're sewn in while you're working on them you have to keep them separate because they give you grief <laughs> they get well maybe not you they have given me grief they fall out they flip they flop hence a flip-flop journal but they are spectacular absolutely spectacular book page little banners at the top and this is a bottom tag piece look at how beautiful that layering is original and digitals gorgeous the back is plain tim holtz paper all of the bases are covered with tim holtz paper so we've seen the first three signatures that are tied with the twine and we have two more signatures in the back the base with envelopes these are tucks they're fragile cardstock circle and paper doilies top and bottom tucks i love this 200 year old book page that's glued randomly fabric attached to a signature Again, similar craft page with printables, labels, hand stitching, different shades of aquas and turquoises. Again, similar design elements, different items from different original books. Just gorgeous. I love the double stitching that I'm doing on here. The back stitch and the running stitch multi-layered snippet love the torn digitals and digitals and original book pages hand stitching craft packing tape multi-layered love the multi-layered straddling the top the sides beautiful embroidery hand stitching, digitals, multi-layered, originals on originals, tucks, love the double stitching and the loose French knots, craft paper, embroidery, multi-layered stitching, collaging, hand stitching, beautiful flowers. Love how that twine really blends in with the craft and natural papers. Multi-layered, different embroidery stitches throughout the pages. It's just not a pocket, it's just straddling the page. Beautiful multi-layered snippet, fabric and paper love how the top of this ledger wraps around this page. This one creates a tuck. Is that a tuck? Nope. This is a tuck. A little pocket. Printable. Embroidery. Hand stitching. Multi-layers. There's so much to look at. In any junk journal, you can always put clear gesso or white gesso and draw and paint on the inside if you'd like. Or just use any sort of a, 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 mar a Sharpie marker pen to write on it. Beautiful stitching, craft, straddling. So all of the journals will be similar. And stitching, 
beautiful collaging back page of the third signature, or sorry, that's the fourth signature. Again, tucks, top and bottom. And this is the last signature hand stitched in here. And we have a coin, craft coin pocket tuck with a small scrappy tag, hand stitching tucked in the pocket. I love how the black polka dotted fabric really makes it pop and the original vintage papers, hand stitching again. I tried to do a lot of hand stitching. I, I work from bed. I have a lot of back issues. Today I'm trying to do the sh short video here, my, <laughs> my, my lovely camera setup. So hopefully it won't be wiggling for you in bed that tends to wiggle. This is the last signature. The back has a, this is, I tried to use up all my printables. This one is a library card, but it's printed on paper. So it is a little bit more fragile hand stitching, craft paper bag. And let's see if I can tuck this in. There we go. And let's look at the last signature, craft paper, multi-layered, similar layout. So I've combined the stitching. Love the decoration that the embroidery, the hand stitching, the irregular papers give on the flip-flop journals, on my scrappy flip-flop journals. Lots of beautiful stitching. The papers just, you can look at these journals. This is one of my favorite ways of stitching on a a straight line and a cur curved line. One is a straight stitch, one is a running stitch. Just absolutely love that. Tuck, tuck. Beautiful craft papers. Center, printable. Printable washi tape, original craft papers. Gorgeous stitching, I really love that. I'm gonna do more of these kind of stitching lines. I love the double combined. Collaging, layering, uh oh, Tommy's hungry. Embroidery, hand stitching, and every page. When you put the stitching on the books, they just feel so nice, even the backs. Love the X's, the cross stitching, papers, and the back page. So this is the front of the journal. Absolutely love how that looks. So that is the first journal. I wanted to, uh, let's wrap this up so I don't get it mixed up. Love this original hand stitched piece for the wrap. And I wrap it around twice and get my pin with my number one and let's tie it together. And I'm going to do a quicker view. You'll see that they're very similar. All of these 12 that I will have. Oh, that's, that says number three. I want to do number two because I've labeled them. This is number two. Very similar, but I just want the person to get the exact one that I was. This is number two. I'm going to take this off. Very similar in everything similar. I've used similar papers, similar stitching, used the aquas teals, turquoise and red in all of them. So I will, maybe I will do a quiet th flip through of number two.
to this is the third signature. all the hand stitching that there is throughout this is the back half of that printable envelope reinforced or attaching it with the craft packing tape love feeling the stitching collaged papers all the papers feel so different tin holds paper tissue paper love this tuck Love the old book pages and the neutral base. See, it's the different printables that are used. Similar page layouts different printables. Love this. Love the papers. Just love that. Paper snippet. Love how the stitching goes around that craft packing tape. Along the edge, just using the top number page, page number, a strip that goes around the page. signature. Beautiful hand stitching. Multi-layered. Journal number two, scrappy flip flop journal number two. Approximately 175 sides. One, two, three, four, and so on. So once these 12 are gone, I'm not making flip flop journals anymore. It's going to be back to my scrappy. And I'm continuing on my Edith Holden journals. The Edith Holden journals, I believe it's May that I'm starting on next. And they're all reserved. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. December is still available. Love the stitching. Blue on blue here. Handmade papers. Love this, your paper library card. So this is book number two.
scrappy flip-flop journal number two and I have one more to share with you on this video and by the time I upload this video they will be uploaded to my Etsy shop so there's that number two and the third one just rebounds. I don't know how I'm going to mail these. That's going to be a, a, it's just so thick. Oops, that's the back. One whole day to hand stitch these ties. They're so pretty. I just love them. Scrappy flip-flop journals. This is the third one, the last journal on this video. There will be 12. This is one, two, and three. Love those book page pockets with a little bit embroidery. Oh my goodness. That is just so cool to me. Love these fabric pages. All three of these have spots available for you to put something inside and a tuck at the back. Envelope base. Beautiful. Love these pockets. I really like the idea of using old book pages to do the pockets with. That's the first signature. This is the second signature. Again, wherever there's fabric, it's a signature. Love the stitching, double stitching, different printables, different lace trims, but similar. So there's some slots for you to put something in. Love it. Love the colors. Beautiful, beautiful. Snippets, collaging, embroidery, flips, original and digital pages, collaged, Crunched paper, stitched paper, coffee dyed paper. Beautiful printables. And my favorite type of stitching, lace trims. Just gorgeous. I love the askew pages, stitching, the shades of turquoises and blues with the pop of red. And these book page pockets. Love how that twine, if the twine starts to untie, it's it's uh, tied in a bow and then it, the, the two bow ends are tied in a knot. Just retie it. Last signature, five signatures in total, approximately 175 sides. Multi-collaged, multi-layers, lots and lots of hand stitching. Love those flowers. 
Tim Holtz papers and fabrics. Love the snippets, the clusters, the crunched in edge of pages, embroidery bits, hand stitching bits. I've had these printables over the years just sitting in folders so now I'm trying to use them all up and oh that's not the last boy I'm <laughs> no way that's only the one two three so Look at that tag. I just love it. Love how that bit sticks out. The layering on it is, I just love it. So that's not the last one. What was I talking about? That's the back only. We have two more signatures. Tuck, tuck. Love the feeling of them. Love the inspiration. All the papers blend, all the originals with the printables, with the vintage. Just pocket tuck. So they're all very similar. Just which printable. Similar shades, neutrals with pops of aquas. Heels. Beautiful sepia, naturally aged book pages, ledger pages. These are tucks as well. To learn how I created these, it's further, again, bit videos further down on my, not a playlist, just further down on my channel. Because I have to work from bed, I have I have back issues that won't heal. They just it's it's degenerative. It's just getting worse and worse. But so I sit in bed, and that's where I craft. Today I'm trying to push through to get this filmed in my craft room. Love this. Gorgeous. Love that digital. Love the layers. Different Tim Holtz fabrics. Old lace trims. Some new fabrics. Embroidery. Whoops. And stitching, seed stitching, and not, I usually don't do that, but I find I really like how it feels on the journals. Love the X's. And the last page I always put, or hope to put a library pocket made out of book page. So that's the last of them. This is number three. Well, the last. For this video, I've made three journals that will be listed in my Etsy shop. If there are no journals there, that means that they have sold. I will be putting, these are three, I have a total of 12 journals to put up in my shop for sale. So the next three, I will be doing videos for in this coming week. Okay, so that's book number three. Scrappy flip-flop journals. Link in the description box. I absolutely am so happy with how they turned out. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Thank you everyone for watching and bye for now.